he's relentless. <laughs> oh. Gustavo Ribeiro from Portugal. Next in. Yesterday's number one qualifier, Gustavo Ribeiro. I expect him to put down about 10 tricks perfect, perfectly. That's the way he skates. Super technical, too. There's a look, kickflip back lip. He goes for broke during the line section. Look at that, front feeble, down, flat down, immediately into the 5-0. Oh, oh, and he manages to wrangle it with that back foot. 360 flip, 50-50. That shows how good he is. And so, oh, the big spin front board down flat so, on the bear trap rail. Dangerous. Do it right here. More. Yes, kick the front board. Gustavo Ribeiro with a complete run. That was. Hey, let's talk. Gustavo Ribeiro versus Kelvin Hopplers. I, I think that Gustavo's had more difficulty. He had multiple flips. He's got the 360 flip 50-50. He had the big spin front board on the down flat yeah, rail. I would, I would Look say at that. Kelvin might have squeezed in a, a, another trick or two. I just think caliber-wise, the tricks for Gustavo were harder. There you go. And just a little bit, but the judges rewarded 8.5 for Gustavo. What? Gustavo Ribeiro, all of a sudden down in seventh place. Yeah, but when he posts this score, we're going to yeah. see a change. Could you do a more difficult trick on that obstacle? It's Everything so about that sketchy. I mean, from a timing perspective, look at that. Bigger spin, flip, front board. He takes it to fakie. The board is he just catches going it crazy on the down. There. Takes it through the kink. And honestly, he did that one yesterday, and he did that one right there better than yesterday's. He was rewarded with a big score. 9.2. 9.2. 9 9 Boosts him into second place, 17.7. And remember, that's with two scores. Take another look at that nine club replay. That was huge. So he is trying to get another win after his win last year in Salt Lake City. He could do it. Two skaters left before we go to the final tries. Gustavo looking to get his third score, and he does it with the crooked grind nollie flip. That's a Gustavo Ribeiro staple. Such a crazy obstacle to do it on. So, locking in. I love how high he catches that. That fisheye angle. Locked in, quick setup with the back foot, and a nice pop out nollie flip. 8.8. New 8 leader. 8. Look at his score 26.5. Gustavo Rivero, leader. An 8.8. Look at. Oh, he's going to drop an 8.8. .8. That thing is going to go <laughs> yeah. straight into the dumpster. Oh my gosh. What? That was awesome. All right, look at this here. Locked in so nicely. Barely moves the heel and catches it so well. Man, it is going to be tough to beat Gustavo. It may be impossible at this point, but. 8-5, he's, I think we're gonna be in the nines and a 9.2. Yeah, I mean, oof. Now his score is 26.9. Everybody's job just got a lot tougher. One more look, nine club replay. 
26.9. The rookie coming in for his last try right here. Can he do it? Gustavo Ribeiro getting his second SLS win all time yes. here in Las Vegas. Yes. Cruising through the 50-50 victory lap. Congratulations. There's his brother giving him props. Crazy level of skating out here this weekend in Las Vegas. What a show these skaters put on. Gustavo put it all on the line out there today. You are watching Street League Skateboarding from Las Vegas. We'll be back with an interview right after this. Taking a look at the winner here in Las Vegas, Gustavo Ribeiro from Portugal, getting his second win in two years. There are your final standings. Gustavo Ribeiro up on top with that 26.9 overall score. And two skaters from the USA taking second and third. Big ups to Chris Jocelyn for coming through. Huge at the end there. 26.6 and Braden Hoban landing on the podium for her, his first time ever as a rookie with a 26.2. And now let's send it down to Alex White. Congratulations on taking the win here in Vegas. The last time you won with Salt Lake City. Tell us how does this win compare to the last one last year? Oh man, I don't have words. I'm shaking right now. I'm super happy. Uh, this one I had my twin brother here and uh, means a lot to me. Um, I don't know, I'm just so nervous. <laughs> how, how important is it to have that support squad, to have that love behind you? Super important. Uh, we grew up together and uh, he was always there for me when I needed it. And uh, on the first win, he was not there and finally he was here when I win. So thank you for being here. And awesome, and you know, we're headed into Rio on the next stop. Anything you want to say headed into the next stop, the Super Crown final in Rio? Uh, I'm just going to try to keep you healthy, uh, happy, and also want to say that no matter where you come from, just follow your dreams. And this one is for Portugal. For Portugal, congratulations, Gustavo. Back to you guys.